You think legend? Ha, I'm laughing at that statement. Our latest Mac, it doesn't matter what your name is. Thank you. <laughs> You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang. Make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay in tune with the latest content. RiceGang.MyShopify.com. Log on to get all of the merchandise. Salute to everybody who has copped recently. So, King of the Die. Salute to King of the Die. Town Business 2. One of the better battles that happened on the card for the whole weekend. One of the battles that I really couldn't wait to watch again and break down every single round that I've sketched about. You know how I do. You already know what's going to happen. So, Ilmac versus Award. When I tell you that this battle right here, bar for bar, lyrically, when you watch it, if you haven't seen it, this is a battle that you definitely should see. I don't have a bunch of notes, but I do have what I thought about the battle overall and who I gave it to. So, <clears throat> Ilmac and Award had issues, you know, minor issues, and they, they talked about them in the battle. So I knew that this was going to be a definite grudge match. Award, I feel like, is one of the better pens, the newer pens in battle rap. When I say newer, I know y'all like to nitpick. Oh, he's been battling for a year or two. When I say newer, I'm talking about he's he's not on big stages. He's he's working his way up, and he deserves the shots that he's getting. But him versus Ilmac is definitely a battle that I wanted to see. And Ilmac is a battle rapper that doesn't lose often. I've seen Ilmac versus Iron Solomon. He's one of the last people to really, really beat Iron Solomon clearly. Like, I felt like he 3-0'd him at a... The other, the world domination, seven. Um, and in the building, I remember being in the building and Ilmac was line for line for line, wilding on Iron Solomon. So now he's had a, you know, a bunch of battles since and he had the battle versus Ill Will. I felt like Ill Will edged that battle. Um, it was close, but Ill Will was just Ill Will. I mean, he's Ill Will's doing it all this year. He's battled pretty much a lot of places, a lot of people, and he really don't have many, if any, clear losses. But, uh, so, uh, Ilmac comes into this battle um, against Award, and a lot of people had him as, you know, they, they're like, he should beat Award. So, you know, Ilmac comes out his the first round, and he's just classic Ilmac flow. Uh, he's just going through a lot of fire material. I mean, he, he, he said, you know, the outlook is just going to be a 3 0. Outlook spells out a 3 0 them instantly. And Outlook spelled out has three O's specifically. Must because <laughs> in Outlook there's three O's and he just starts. Oh man, this ain't this ain't uh, this ain't no classic or no something. This is Diz versus Joe Nye. This is getting choked with the ball. But like, he's wilding on A Ward in his first round. A Ward comes out in his first round and he starts wilding. Like all throughout A Ward's first round, he had bars. He had he was talking about the the issue with uh. You know, um, Ilmac talking about his, his deceased grandmoms or whatever the case may be. I don't think that's cool on no level. But I think that he referred to it as Ilmac saying, you pulled the plug on the battle like you pulled the plug on your grand. Where I'm from, they don't play all that. Where that, that them, them two lines, they don't, they don't, no, they ain't gonna go for that. But um, they were able to both get through very fire first rounds. Very debatable first rounds too. Honestly, I'm gonna be for real with you. I edged the first round to A Ward. I liked his energy. I liked what he came with. I liked his first round. It was um, Ilmac second round. Ilmac second round. He picks it up. He starts wilding some more. Like he's going through more fire material in his second round than in his first round. His first round was crazy though. So it's like when you look at the first round and the second round, he's bugging. A Ward comes back out in his second round. And he's wilding. I got Ilmac taking the second round. Had to battle 1-1 going into the third. Like I said, this is a battle that you need to see. This is not one that I'm going to... They have so much fire material that I'm not going to sit there and just go through every single bar. Like, that would be, like, without watching the pay-per-view. And like I said, Salute the King of the Dot Town Business. This is one of the better battles on the card. I believe this battle, uh, Oops versus B-Dot, Saint versus B-Magic, um, those are some of the better battles. My verse versus R um, RX was a fire battle. Um, and there was some other fire battles on the card. Mad Flex battle, Big K. I don't watch Big K battles no more, so I mean, it is what it is. But I don't know who won, so I ain't watching. It is what it is. Fuck it. He don't like us, we don't like him. So anyway, back to A Ward and, um, A Ward and Ilmac. So, um, 
gets they both had fire second rounds. Uh Ilmac third round though, to me Ilmac's third round will be remembered. Uh I think it was one, his angle was so fire in his third round. Like you're a battle rapper, comma Christian was so cause he went to Award's Twitter profile that said top ten battle rapper, comma Christian. And then he just started breaking down, like, how can you be a battle rapper in a contradiction with a comma Christian? Top 10 battle rapper, comma Christian. They sent me here to comma Christian. Like, he was just doing this whole crazy scheme. And it was personal. His personal hit so crazy. And it, 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 it worked for me. Uh, a Ward had a fire third round, too, all throughout the battle. To me, this battle, scale of 1 to 10, I'm going with a 9, man. Like, it, to me, it's very few perfect. 10 battles, but Awar had a fire third round. Uh, he got into uh, what he felt with, you know, his personal feelings about their situation and about what went on. And I respected it, and I respected them getting through that battle. But one thing I will say, I never seen Awar like this before because I know, like, he must have really had a personal issue with Ilmac because I never seen him out of character before, like, talking. Through, through, through the round, he wasn't talking through like he wasn't like T Rex talking through the rounds, but he would be saying little things here and there. When when Il Mac would have something crazy that was super hit, he would you hear him jabber, jibber and jabber, and that's not what he do. I'm not I'm not used to seeing A Ward talk through nobody's rounds. You know what I'm saying? And it didn't it wasn't crazy, but I just peep everything, especially when I start watching the battle more than once. I believe he talked a time or two, but that's no that's no real harp. Um, but I just felt like Ilmac's third round angle was so crazy that I, I got Ilmac 2-1. Close battle, but when I look at it, and y'all know it was one of my favorite. He wore a Rice Gang hoodie in his battle versus Poe Rich. Uh, I, I respect everything he do. He just got married not too long ago. But no matter who you are, like, if I, I, I could really unbiasedly call battles. Like, that's the one good thing that I... I'm happy for for doing this so long that regardless of whether I'm cool with you, if I ain't cool with you, if you like me or I don't like you or we don't like each other, I can still watch your battle and um, unbiasedly call it. Unless you say something like super like disrespectful out of line and start talking about SMD and all that other type of stuff, then I just won't watch you no more. It is what it is. Like, it is. I don't care. Like, I don't have to watch people who say super disrespectful stuff. But when we talk about actual battles, and things that happen, we could talk about the who wins and who loses and have good debates because that's what this is all about. But uh, A Ward is on a war path. A Ward, I feel like if he continues with what he's doing, he could easily be in contention for um, the King of the Dot chain if he wanted that, if he wanted to go that direction. Uh, Chilla Jones versus, uh, and another thing, you know, saying A Ward versus, I'll just say that it's one of the better battles on the card. Uh, fire battle, they both did their thing, and it is what it is. So, um, I like the battle. I will talk about, uh, let me talk about Chilla Jones versus Real Deal real quick. I don't even really want to shed a lot of light on this battle because this is the second time I feel like Chilla Jones beat Real Deal, and this is the second time he didn't win. And I know it seems a little political now. No, it don't seem a little, it seems a lot political now. Like, Chilla Jones is clearly winning these battles, and it, to me, if you ask me personally, I look at it like, well, Chilla Jones is about to go on URL and battle Rum Nitty. He, they not about to let him go over there with the chain. It is what it is. Y'all can call it like I call it, but I don't do politics regardless of the league. It doesn't matter if it's URL, King of Die, RBE. I don't care. That's the reason why I am who I am and I do what I do. But I feel like Chilla Jones won the battle. I feel like he won the last one, clearly. Now again, they say, oh, it was only one judge, it was Method Man. I don't care if Marvin Gaye was the judge. If you look at the battle and you watch the bars, you can see, see clearly the difference between the two and how, how many levels above was Chilla Jones with his bars. Like, it was like, are we for real? I mean, how are we still calling Chilla Jones losing in a battle? <laughs> I don't care to, uh, to, to, to figure out why this is happening or how this is happening. I don't know who the judges are. I don't know why it's going down like that. But Chilla Jones clearly won. But uh, Ilmac versus A Ward, very fire battle. Both of those individuals did their thing. They both deserve a lot of respect and admiration because their pen game, their pen game was crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Yo, wildin'. 
You want to see a battle with all three rounds, both individuals is wildin', bringing their A game, like not playing no games, pedal to the metal, Ill Mac with that with that classic flow. Like, how can you take top ten battle rapper, comma Christian, and make a whole scheme that hit so well and captivated the whole building? Now. Um, a Ward did have a fire, have fire angles too. You know, you said the most, the, the thing you're you're most known for is being a mustard bottle. You know what I'm saying? Like you're, you're, you're in it. <laughs> it's crazy. You know what I mean? I mean, <laughs> your most views is from being a mustard bottle. I mean, he wasn't lying, but uh, very good battle. Um, overall, that was fire. Real deal versus Chilla Jones. Like I said, I don't like seeing people get ripped off like that, so I mean, it is what it is. But, you know, I call it like I call it so I don't spoil it. There may be some people who saw it and feel like um, Real Deal won the battle. But I appreciate King of the Dot for putting on, uh, obviously, the main, main, main event with Disaster vs. Soulcon was, <laughs> no. You know what I'm saying? Like, eh -eh. I still ain't done watching it, and I've been playing it for two days now. So. Other than that, man, salute to the subscribers. That notification, gang. I know y'all want to see my man Showtime SP, but he is at work. I tell you, this man works every day. So, um, salute to him. Well, when he gets back in, in the flow of things, we'll, we'll, um, we'll continue to move on. But, you know, the news don't stop. You know what I'm saying? We got to keep it going. They want it. So, other than that, you already know what to do and what it does. I'm out of here.